Once I get him down, put his hand down, my hips go, and I spin. So I have two wedges. I can stick my front wedge or my front in, or I can stick my back wedge in, depending on which one I want to kind of attack. What Blake's doing is he's defending that knee to elbow space, so I can't get those wedges in. So when I get to this position, I like to stick my knee here on the hip, jam my knee in, and then turn my knee out. That exposes his leg, or his arm, excuse me. So again, think about like you're sliding into home base. I'm starting up high, and I'm going down to the floor, and then sliding my knee out. Does make sense, everybody? Once I get here, I'm gonna show you some upper body attacks, and then I wanna show you the, the lower body attacks. Here in the my favorite stuff. From this position, I'm gonna step over the arm and I'm gonna catch the arm. And then what I'm gonna do, because we have the D, I'm gonna feed this lapel to this hand. So you just sit up for a second. So I'm feeding this lapel to here, and then this hand is gonna grab this one. Okay, so I can go back. I slide my knee in, I catch the foot. I wanna think about bringing my heel to my butt to keep his arm away from his, uh, catching and bringing his hands together, or his hand fighting the choke. So I'm gonna feed the top lapel to this hand, right at like his collarbone with my thumb. And if you notice a little trick, I'm turning his collar so I get a better grip. Instead of just catching it like this, I'm turning it, getting a better grip. The bottom hand, all my bottom hand is gonna do is pull down. And all I'm gonna think about doing is just dropping my head to the mat and pull. So, I got him, got him down, I spun, I got my seatbelt, I got my knee and I slid. Get rid of this arm if you would like. For this choke, you don't necessarily need it. It's just good to set it up. I'm gonna pass the top lapel to my top hand. Bottom hand's gonna go. I'm gonna pull down, and then I'm gonna think about pulling up. You can release the arm if you want, and then all you're gonna do is drop your head down to the mat, and think about turning this head forward. So it's just like a scroll, in the sense of, when I get to this position, in here, and I put my head to the floor, I'm just going to scroll this hip to the mat. I don't need to like sit through and do all of that. So, she got his hands to the mat. I scroll, I rock, I spun. I got my backpack grip, I put my knee in, I slide my knee in. I like to open it and trap it. So now I can get my knee grips. Again, you can keep the leg, the arm, or you can release the arm. I don't really care. Put your head to the mat. And all you're going to do is sit through, hold down with the left, and pick up. Cutting his throat with your left hand, or right hand. Put a clock choke for you guys. You want to see it again? Yeah, So if he just sets up, So I was here, I'm feeding to here, and I'm grabbing here. I'm pulling down here, and pulling like this, like extending my arm, like this, okay? So I'm here, I pull down, and extend. And me putting my head down and sprawling, putting all this, killing all the space for him to try to turn in or turn into me with the choke. So if he's down, slide, pull, get the arm out of the equation. Feed, feed. Head goes to the mat, try to be nice with the arm, and then just turn, strong. It doesn't look like much, because it shouldn't take much. Keep your eyes when you're getting choked, keep them open, and uh, any questions? Awesome. One, two, three.